the thing that soothes me and puts me to bed at night is Kitchen Nightmares. I don't know what it is about Gordon Ramsay screaming at people. It just makes me me, 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 That's literally what happens. Love you, Gordon. Hey everyone, this is Madison Beer, and these are my favorite snacks. Okay, this is an important one. This is arguably maybe the most important, pivotal one for me. Chocolate chip, original recipe. They're not mini cookies, but they are mini cookies. I'm so happy that we were able to find these and bring these here. So my dad grew up eating these. These are like, I can't open it. Come on, man, don't embarrass me like this. I like don't know how to open boxes. This is like the f it's humiliating. <laughs> Hi, okay, here are the cookies. They are the best cookies on earth. If you've never tried one, I highly suggest you go to your nearest grocery store. Hopefully they have them. They're always soft, no matter what, and they're amazing. I wasn't sure if these were like a New York specific thing or if they had them in California. I've actually ordered them, I think off Amazon a few times, so I don't know if they have them everywhere, but I think they don't. These are just like a New York classic. Unfortunately, my Long Island accent is no longer with us, but if I speak to my dad or my grandma or I go home for more than a week, it comes right on out. These have been in my house since I was born. Shout out to Robert Beer. Okay, boom. Chester fries. These, to be honest with you, are super important because they were the introductory snack to enjoying spicy things. I like want to pull this mic down so I can do ASMR for you. I swear the first time I had these was maybe on my first tour. I think someone gave them to me because I always talk about how I really like I don't know the word to describe it, but just things that are satisfying to eat. I don't know if anyone's gonna understand what I mean, but these feel satisfying. Like you can almost put one of these in your mouth and it'll like melt. And I think one of my fans was like, you gotta try Chester fries. They're so satisfying to eat. It's so bizarre, but she was right. And now I like spicy food. I can't really push it to the limit, but I'm like willing to try anything. So if you ever see me on hot ones, that'll be interesting. Oh my gosh, my catching skills are on point today. So. Let's have a discussion about mini M&Ms. Something about them being in this tube and being the size they are, they're just so addicting to a point that like I don't know psychologically like what it is. Like it takes everything in me to not, I don't know what movie it was. Was it The Hangover where Zach Galifianakis like put his whole mouth over a champagne glass and then like went back and drank the whole thing like that? It takes everything in me to not do that with this and just send them all down the hatch, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna be an adult today. But like, just holy shit, there's something, again, satisfying about these. Mmm, like what? The crunch is just there, it's so good. Thank you very much. So, here we have our good old Oreo McFlurry. Usually I get hot fudge on the Oreo McFlurry, but, you know, they are disappointing a lot of the time because I feel like most of the Oreo crumble is on top. And then once you get like halfway done, it's just vanilla ice cream, which nothing's wrong with vanilla ice cream, but like I would like an Oreo experience through from top to bottom and I don't get that ever. I think I love McDonald's for many reasons. I only really get fries and a McFlurry, which are consistent to me. So I think it's just like a consistency thing. Oh, this is the best day of my life. Thank you. Oh. It just like will never let me down. Like I'm a salty person and they're so fucking salty. So there's a constant debate being from New York, living in Los Angeles. What is better in and out of Shake Shack? I'm voting Shake Shack all the way, which argue with the wall, I don't care. But McDonald's fries trump all. Cool Ranch Doritos. Yes, these are the best in the world. These are my number one, honestly. In this whole tier, Cool Ranch Doritos are my number one. I also always go for the ones that have, I don't know if I'm like doing vlog style. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of seasoning on this one. These are the ones to go for, you know? I hate the nacho cheese Doritos, so it's not like an overall, like I'm a Doritos person. These are so good. I was not always a ranch person. Growing up, I actually was like slightly afraid of it, thought it was just disgusting. My brother has always loved ranch. He's always been like a honey mustard and ranch person and I've been like a strictly ketchup person. And then in recent years, I think it was also McDonald's, McDonald's McNuggets. 
converted me to be a ranch lover. Like, it's just the only pairing that's right. Again, argue with the wall. This is grilled dinner. I eat this every day, no matter what. Like, at some point throughout my day, this is being consumed. Everyone always is like, what's on your rider? And if you don't know what that is, it's just basically like when you go places, what snacks people should provide you with. This is what I get. Let's start with a little cucumber. I don't know how people feel at home about Sabra hummus, but I fucking love it. I could eat this all day. So I do love food, I do love snacks, and I love it so much that the thing that soothes me and puts me to bed at night is kitchen nightmares. I don't know what it is about Gordon Ramsay screaming at people and people fighting that just makes me that's literally what happens. He's just so real. In a world of such fakeness, he's so real. I've seen every episode of Kitchen Nightmares, by the way, and there are a lot of episodes. Love you, Gordon. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching me talk about my very favorite snacks. This was so much fun, and make sure to listen to my new album, Sounds Between Songs, and catch me on tour. I start in February. Love you.